Hey, thanks, Eamon, so much. Our next guest is Professor Kristen Valentino. She's a professor of psychology and the director of the William J. Shaw Center for Children and Families. Professor Valentino, welcome to Notre Dame Day. Thank you for being here. Thanks so much for having me. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about the Shaw Center. What's it all about? Sure, yeah. The Shaw Center is an integrated research and clinical center, which is really dedicated to supporting the healthy development of children and families. So we've been um, in the community for about actually over 20 years now. And on the research side, our projects are all focused on innovating new ways to support children and families. And on the clinical side, we offer um, a child and family uh, assessment and also therapy service to provide evidence-based treatments for children and families in our community. Can we talk more about the research side of what you do? Um, what is that focused on and what do you hope it will impact? Sure, yeah, so on the research side, a number of our projects are focused on the development of scalable interventions to support family interactions with the goal of preventing psychopathology and enhancing youth mental health. And so some of our projects are um, intervention studies that we call randomized control trials, and we're testing the effects of an intervention compared to other alternatives. And so one of them, for example, is called the uh, Pregnant Moms Empowerment Program. It's led by Professor Miller Graff, and it's testing the effects of a program designed um, to support pregnant women who are exposed to intimate partner violence, um, teaches them some empowerment and um, safety planning and ways to support the parent-child interaction. Um, it's been shown to reduce victimization um, over time. Other projects like what I'm leading focuses on an intervention for moms involved with the child welfare system. Um, and in this project, that's a home-based intervention. So a lot of our projects focus on trying to meet families where they are. Um, these home-based services have also been shown to reduce reinvolvement in the child welfare system. And, um, and then we also have a number of other projects that are not intervention studies, but instead they're, they're more following families over time to really try to understand what are the risk and protective factors, maybe for a specific population or cultural group. So we have a couple of studies, for example, which are really focused on Latino families at the moment. Um, including a new project by one of our uh, new faculty, Dr. Jenny Padilla. And um, she's studying both, you know, parent, youth, and even sibling perspectives on the types of things that um, either enhance development or maybe hinder them. And, and studies like this are important because then they help us learn how to develop new interventions in the future. What is the most rewarding part of your work uh, for you personally? Sure, I mean, it's just, I love being a part of the Shaw Center, having the opportunity to direct it. I feel like the work that we do um, really aligns with the mission of the university. Our faculty are all dedicated to innovating ways to improve the lives of children and families and be a force for good in that capacity. And so the work that we're doing, both in our research and our clinical impact too, um, really has been rewarding, especially because the South Bend community broadly has um, there are just gaps in, in service availability for youth mental health, and I feel like we're starting to fill a really important need. As you look to the future, what do you see or what do you hope the impact of the Shaw Center um, has going forward? We are really hoping to expand our impact. I just mentioned our clinical services. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that we would love to expand by hiring some more um, faculty, staff, and graduate students. We often actually train our graduate students through our clinic, and it's a great opportunity for them to learn, but also for us to be able to offer evidence-based services, um, both therapy service and evaluations to the community. And we're also really looking for ways to get our research interventions out of the lab and into the real world. So we're looking to partner with other community agencies, teach them how to implement our interventions, and then see if we can study them at scale. So bringing an intervention, for example, to the state. Professor Valentino, thank you, first of all, for your work. Thank you for telling us about it. And just um, best of luck going forward. Thank you so Wonderful. much. Thank you. Uh, we're going to go down to Litchfield now on the performance stage, a special treat for you.